This is why I'm concerned about your relationship with Vita. I, I don't like mysteries. That's why I don't like being a psychic. Hey, are you listening to me? Are you asleep? I am listening to you. Deeply. It's a form of meditation we... practice. Well, whether you're sleeping or meditating, you don't seem to be paying attention to what I'm asking you. You can trust that I'm paying full attention when... I'm meditating in your presence. I'm not stupid, you know. How can you be listening to me while off in your meditating world? And I don't believe in meditation as a therapeutic tool. Maybe you should. I can feel you're pretty tightly wound up. Just breathe with me for a moment. Breathe with you for a moment. I don't have time for this. I need to know who you are, what you are. Okay, if I tell you, then will you breathe with me? Okay, but just for a minute. You really are taking up precious time. Excellent. This is what it is. I'm a bow wowist, and so is Vida. And we bow wowists believe that she is the reincarnation of our former Lama. I only talk to small animals. None of those ruminants for me. They're just too stubborn. Not dumb. that kind of llama. <laughs> it's a good one, though. You're kind of funny, aren't you? Hmm? I don't appreciate insults like that. Calling me weird and funny. I've heard them my whole life. Try explaining to your sixth grade classmates why you're talking to the class hamster. That was a long time ago. You need to let that go. And accept the gift you have chosen in this lifetime. How is that supposed to help Vita be less afraid of cameras? That's my job. That's what I'm here for. She's not afraid of them. She just doesn't like them. You see, in her last incarnation as the Dogalama, she came up with that tenet to Bawaoism because she realized that our constant recording of experience takes us out of that experience, out of the moment. Are you trying to tell me that Vita is some kind of religious leader? Is that why you're here? I've tracked her down. I'm what's called a tzispa. And Vida is the talk who I've been looking for. I've come to take her back to India. That is crazy talk. Not to mention in a language I don't understand. Have you talked to Junie about this? I don't think Junie will stand in Vida's way. Do you? Okay. You promised. I've explained. Now just follow my breathing. In. Out. Slowly. Deeply. In. So now that you're really listening to Vida, yeah. what has she told you about her destiny? Her destiny? Mm, well, she just told me that she likes being a dog and she likes living with me, but she would like it if I would throw sticks for her more often. <laughs> and she's encouraging me to be more decisive because, you know, I'm not really very decisive. I can't decide on anything, really. Well, you know what? That's a good trait in Bao Wawi's terms. You know why? it means you're in the moment. 
open to the flow. Really? Oh, I, I never thought about it like that before. That's so cool, but I'm like a good Bow Wowist. Uh, it's not a question of good or bad, right? Because okay. it's a question of being. Of being your true juniness. <laughs> Just as Vita has to be her true dogginess. Yes. Wow, I get it. Huh. Is that what she's been trying to teach me all along? It is, isn't it? Yes. She has always been a great teacher in her every incarnation. Well, I've had her since she was nine months old, and apparently she was some sort of drug running dog then. Yeah, I know. That's why I last lost track of her. But you know, uh, that's not the kind of incarnation I was talking about. I was talking about a past life. So Vita really has been reincarnated. I knew it. That is so cool. Yes. And she lives with me, which is even cooler. Yes. yes. Sweet. And, uh, about that. Uh -huh. That's not really her destiny. And it seems that her work here is pretty much done now. Her work? What are you, what are you talking about? He means that they want me to be their leader again. But I'm done with all that. That's why I chose to come back as a dog this time. I don't want to listen to everyone's problems anymore. I just want to be your dog, Junie, and help you and Marsha and everyone she can help. It's much simpler, and I'm happier. Now throw me a stick. Vita says that she doesn't want to be your leader anymore, and how do you even know it's her anyway? Oh, she's just confused by Marsha's psychobabble. And I've tested her. She is the chosen one. And, and look at the way she works with that stick. That required a lot of training in her past life. It's a form of martial arts we practice called Pupka. Pupka? Yes. And she's retained those skills even though she no longer has a pose of both arms. Don't listen to him, Junie. He wants to take me back to the monastery with him. No, I won't let him. Hey, where is that indecisiveness? This is definitely going against the flow. Maybe my flow is different than your flow. Isn't there some sort of saying about different paths and stuff? Going together? Yes, we're going together. On your scooter. I will not disappoint you. Oh. You're mine forever. Oh my god. You look so cute in the helmet. Too. Oh, thank you. Hop on. Okay. Let me go on first, though. Okay. Good day, you come on. Okay. Just takes a minute to warm up. Uh. Feel that? This is how I choose to finish off my karma, Tsitspa. Go in peace. Your brothers will understand your effort. Tell them I said, Namaste. 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 